Right there guys, just a quick tutorial. Sorry I've not done a proper one for a while, but it's been quite a popular request on my forum. People are always asking for, can you make me a Minecraft logo? <clears throat> now I don't like the game, I've, but each to their own. So I've had a little play around on how to create it. So I'm going to teach you how to recreate this. Okay, and it's probably not 100%, it's not exact, but it's probably good enough for YouTube intro channel, etc. Okay, let's start off. First of all, you're going to need two programs for best result. You need Photoshop and Cinema 4D. You can download both um, for 30 day trials. The only problem is Cinema 4D, I think, if you don't have um, <coughs> the full version, I think you get a render restriction on what size and quality you can render at. But if you're just doing a PNG image, that's fine. So first of all, you're going to open up your Cinema 4D. That's what your display is like. I know it's confusing at first, but you get used to it. And to start off with, you want to go to MoGraph, select text. And then down here, you just want to type in whatever text you decide that you want to have. It's probably a username. And then select the font which is this option here and you want Minecraft which should be up here somewhere there it is and that's job pretty much halfway done you just need to use this little rotate button here to rotate your camera around because you're working in 3D space so you Pretty much do anything you want. Then try and line it up as square as you can because it makes it a lot easier when you can to the next stage. Oh, I should say as well that you might want to set your preset window because the standard one is 800 by 800, I think. So you just go into render settings, set your screen up to what well. Pretty much whatever size you want to see your logo at, I'm just going to do it for a YouTube size. So you want to go into render settings and your output, you put it as 1280 and 720 for a nice large image, and that's pretty much going to pull the whole screen up on YouTube. Then you want to go to, when you go to save, you want to save it as a PNG, and you want to select the alpha channel, that's so you can have a complete transparent background. And then you just choose whatever you want to call it. And then just close out of there. And as you can see now, I've got a full window. Okay, so this height down here on the right hand side, the standard is 200, but you can change that so that it fits on the screen nicely and try and fill it up and then obviously the red slider does the x-axis blue slider does the z-axis I can't remember which way around it is and the green one goes up and down you don't really need to worry about that it's only the red one you're going to bother with just get the angle right and then you have to click on here the rotation tool now this box just get tricky if you don't know how to use it. You want to set the red one only. So click on the red one, not the green or blue, because it will start rotating at weird angles then. And just throw it down. It needs to be about a five degree angle. <coughs> but that's all altered. And then you can click on your Motex. And you'll see an option here called Depth. And all you need to do is, as you see, that you can go all the way down, and that will go straight up, or you can put it down, go up. Just do get it somewhere you like. Then that will do me. Then you want to get double click in here and create a texture, and select a nice grey. I mean, I pretty much. I've already choose the grey I like 
So I've done that. I mean, <coughs> I've actually got a material on mine, but mine in Photoshop it overrides it, and this doesn't work. So you, when I'll do it as a grey here, actually, I've set to grey. Depends how dark you want your logo to be, really. And click OK. And you're up here, and then you just literally drag your material so that you get the little plus sign come on, and that'll go on there. And that's it for the Cinema 4D section. So then, all you need to do now is go to Render, Render to Picture Viewer. And then while that's rendering, just check it all looks okay there. And close out of it. And you'll find that where you saved your settings earlier, there it is. You get your tutorial, com pic <coughs> my Minecraft tutorial come up. There's a PNG with no background because you selected the alpha channel. Then you open up Photoshop. Then now it doesn't really matter what you do because you can't ruin it that's the whole idea bring it up to a good scale create a new layer set your brush tool and I've downloaded a set of um, lightning preset brushes I mean I'd recommend doing that cause it's just the best way of doing it rather than trying to use a soft or a hard brush so you just choose a lightning brush um, paint in black make sure your mode's on 100% then all you're doing is just literally going to just go over, cover it. I mean, you can vary it up a bit. Bring up diff different angles from it. Just click all over the screen. Like I said, it's a crap texture. You don't have to be that accurate. Okay, you don't need to go all the way over here, but it doesn't really matter what you do there. I mean, I've got different lightning brushes, so you can put in some big ones. But like I say you don't, you don't really want it to be big, thick, and wide, because then you lose the aspect of <coughs> the cracks in the next stage. And that is basically your logo done, except for your T, obviously, because I missed it out. trick is make sure you get the end done and what you want to do with that layer you've just painted it all on just right click it and click create cr clicking cl bleh, create clipping mask and you can see then it locks it all in on there no problem Then right click it again and go to blending options and all you need to do is click the bevel and emboss set it down to down then I tend to find 5 pixel works quite well as standard and just move your depth up I mean you can change it to that but it's just way too much in that setting but you can lower it down if you want a softer look I know some of them have got softer looks you do stroke emboss but <laughs> that doesn't look very good so you just do it as in a bevel and then sometimes you might want to go to chisel hard and that gives it the even further effect and that's basically your minecraft logo and all you need to do now is go to file save as uh, png you have to keep it as png or unless you've got software that will recognize the photoshop or tiff file because otherwise if you save it as anything else it will just create a white or black background and if you're dragging it on top of a video for your YouTube channel you don't want that you can replace your original one that you created in Cinema 4D because that's obviously no good anymore so it's got texture on but there you go, that's it I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I'll see plenty of people with their own customised Minecraft logos for their own text have a good day now